Hey guys, today I will show you how to easily remember the derivatives of trigonometric functions and it was pretty hard for me to do, uh, to understand and to remember the de derivatives of trigonometric functions so I looked, it, uh, looked up on the internet and uh, found a simple trick and I found this trick on dummies.com and I, I will give full credit to that side uh, so let's start uh, so before we start the only derivatives you need to remember is derivative derivative of sine theta and derivative derivative of cos theta so the derivative of sine theta is cos theta and derivative of cos theta is negative sine theta these are pretty easy to remember and uh, it won't take much time for you to remember just look at them and you will remember so for the rest of the trigonometric functions there's a little, little trick and imagine you are sitting in an exam hall and your friend says Psst. Uh, this may sound weird he, he might say Psst. hey what's the derivative of cosecant and just remember what, what he said he said Psst. P S S so just remember the last three words of PSST and ignore the first one S S S and T now all, all the three uh, three letters uh, are for S is for secant again S is for secant and T is for tangent now for second row take the co uh, the co functions take the co functions of this three trigonometric functions for, for example for secant take cosecant again for secant take cosecant and for tangent take cotangent now you need to place the arrows uh, so place the arrows pointing towards the middle pointing towards the middle and last step last step uh, for the middle cosecant place a negative sign right up there place a negative sign right up there so this is a simple shot and a useful table which will help you in exam in your exams so how, how does this work uh, it it works pretty easily. Uh, let's say you need to find the derivative of secant. So the derivative of secant it can be d or d theta, sec theta, or x or any functions. So we are not going over that. So the derivative if you need to find the derivative of secant, ignore uh, get the secant and now multiply this sec multiply by 10 which is sec x multiply by tan x so this is the derivative of sec x you can look at uh, up on the internet or in your textbook or wherever these are the 100% accurate and exact derivatives of sec of x so the derivative of sec of, of x is sec x multiply by tan x now uh, you will do the same thing for tan x if you need to find the derivative of tan x d over dx tan x will give you sec for tan x go this way the, this point points towards this way so go this way sec multiply by sec multiply by sec so which will be sec square x so the derivative of tan x is sec square x. Now for the derivative of cosecant, the same trick applies. For the derivative of cosecant, go and uh, go in the direction the arrow points you. Negative negative cosecant multiply by cot. So derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant multiply by cos x 
up there and same for the last one for the derivative of cos go in the direction the arrow points you so negative cosecant multiply by cosecant is negative cosecant square x so the derivative of cot x is negative cosecant square x pretty easy to remember just you need to remember pst, which by which your friend called you and then get, uh, ignore the p and write the s as and t now s stands for secant uh, again here s stands for secant and t stands for tangent now get the co-functions of all those three functions which is uh, cosecant for secant again cosecant for secant and cotangent for tangent uh, get the arrows pointing towards the middle and uh, place a negative sign in front of uh, in in front of cosecant which is uh, in the middle this will give you a table and now if you need to find the derivatives just go in the direction of the arrows multiply the rest of the two functions uh, rest of the two trigonometric functions and uh, you'll get the derivatives hope uh, this might help you Thanks for watching.